All right, hey everybody, Miku X Legend is back for more Center and Kroger Burst Renewal. Oh, we're in the third chapter already. So these two are the ones that we did. chapters there are. Not yet. I'm not beaten yet. The body stares at me yet anxiously. It's alright. I swear I'll protect you. Oh, they haven't done this in a while. Uh, this cheap pro pro propagation has no effect on me. I care carefully observe the mo movements of my enemy. Line of sight, breathing, heartbeat. The slightest change won't escape me. My opponent feeds me information without even knowing it every second. Lead me to just the right move. For a split second, her gaze shifts to the right. There's no time for second guessing. I immediately attack to the right. I chose the wrong move. The card I pulled is not, in fact, the Ace of Diamonds, but the Joker, the old May. Katsurugi looks down at me tri triumphantly. <laughs> Katsurugi advances on a very laughing minutesly signaling. これはチーム戦だ。代表者が負けたらチームで責任を負うって決めたろ。よ、少し。しかしも苔しもないよ。値のデコピンは痛いよ。She hasn't been struck yet, but Bari Ori looks miserable. My skull resounds with the mighty impact. This is well beyond any ordinary forehead flick. A microcosm of pain blossoms in my head. I glare at the Joker in my hand. Unforgivable. It's because of you, you damn jester. I slowly crush the card. <laughs> Katsurugi makes a move to grab me. Interesting. I won't lose in hand to hand combat. Ikaruga's reproach lashes out at us. A quick glance around shows that all the other passengers are staring at, at us. Kitsurugi apologizes and quietly takes her seat. As we settle down, the pleasant reverberation of the tracks prevents any awkward silence. Where he sticks out her tongue playfully.
As the train leaves the tunnel, the scent of the ocean fills our noses. Asuka peers out the window. Katsuriki presses her nose against Asuka's body. Asuka's voice rises as if she's being tickled. Oh my god. Not you too, Hibari. <laughs> Hibari presses her nose against Asuka's body too. Ikaruga's voice roars through the car like thunder from high. From on high. The entire car goes silent. All eyes settle on her. She droops her shoulders as she is going to be punished. We're taking this train to the beach. Not for a mission, though. For a genuine vacation. When Master Kiria told us to go to the beach, we were so confused, we didn't know what to say. Hmm, this one's a lot. At my question, Master Kiria responded flatly. Somehow I understood what he meant. The fight will only grow more intense. Before that happens, it would be best for us to build some memories that simp simply as students. I was grateful for Master Curious' consideration. So for today, at least, we'll forget about the fighting. Forget about fa falling into Hit Bijo's trap. That day, Bijo's ruse has separated us. Their true purpose had been to lure us out and leave Hanzo Academy re relatively defenseless. Hibari and I rushed to back to the school in a panic to find do dozens of lesser Hibijo sh shinobi lying defeated in the courtyard. We saw Asuka, Ikaruga, and Kutsuragi standing nearby. Hibari asked as she gestured to the gestured to the piles of unconscious bodies. The others shook their heads. And it couldn't have been Master Kiria. He already said he wasn't getting involved. So then, who? Someone had successfully defeated Hanzo Kami, but the question left me feeling uneasy. We heard a voice from somewhere. We surveyed the area, but a source remained hidden. Asuka called out. At this response, we exchanged glances. The Doji is a legendary senior. She has unfa unfathomable speed and power and was ready to take the final exam as a freshman. But for some reason, she never graduated and continues to be held back. In other words, she's the strongest active student, yet none have seen her at school for the past few years. Hibari piped up, her eyes still searching. Hibari's face clouded over with anxiety. With that, our sense of the... Hang on. Oh. With that, our sense of the doji's presence simply disappeared.
I change into my swimsuit and s in the dressing room and step out squinting in the, s in the light of the summer fun sun. The sky overhead is clear and blue. The ocean spreads out endlessly before us. Even though I'm not good with the sun, I can't help feeling excited. Yeah. Kitsurugi stands in front of the dressing room clad in a blue bikini. In fact, Kitsurugi ordered us to wear alternate bikinis before we even left for the beach. They seem to be your fetish of a choice this year. It almost feels like she's looking at me with her eyes. Asuka appears with a towel wrapped around her body. Katsurugi immediately pulls off Asuka's towel. Underneath is a multicolored striped bikini tight, lady restraining her large bust. Ikaruga steps out of the dressing room clad in a simple dirt brown bikini. Ikaruga ignores Katsurugi's watering eyes and walks briskly in the direction of the beach. Hippari springs out of the changing room. Katsurugi appears on the verge of fading. I can't go along with this anymore. As it happens, Hibari and I are wearing the same color. Pure chance, but it still makes me a little happy. Where's the other show that? Let's run two years of water. Katsurugi and Hibari fall right behind her. I head for the beach too. The warmth of the sand on my feet feels nice. I sit down on the sand and watch the others play in the surf. Tomorrow we will be back to constant training preparing to fight against Hibijo. But this looks good for now, even for a little while we can forget everything and enjoy ourselves. Just like normal girls. So I forget it all too for today. Hibari waves at me in front from the edge of the water. I stand and wipe the sand from my buster, buster ear. I give myself over to the pleasant sea breeze and head for the ocean. Hmm, we still get to wear them. Oh boy, look who it is again. Uh oh. Wonder if she took it. Uh, she probably did. That's what I'm gonna assume. Well, you don't leave things unattended, though, honestly.
Oh. Just remember this trick, right? But. Give the bar a new luck sometime. I'll go, left. I'll go this way in a minute. There's a box over there. There were probably recovery items. If if you're going low. I guess, I, I guess they're unbreakable. Oh well, let's just keep going then. But I see this part open. What if we go the other way? There we go. I bet there's bigger ones too. Oh. Nope. I don't think so. <sighs> okay, that does it. That'll do it. Of course they have a bari. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We can do a little more. I'm in my favorite cafe in a shopping district in order to my tent. I order my tent for fate. I think this is what they call stress eating. I can't stop fidgeting if my mind is in a haze. The shop windows have been polished to a mirror shine so I can stare at my own scrunched up face. I'm so angry. Who am I angry at? My myself. <laughs> in class today, I basically take the go 15 times and I dragged everyone else down with me. Two days ago, I messed up 8 times and then 12 yesterday and 15 today. At this rate, it'll be 20 times tomorrow. Normally, you would cut down on those mistakes. But I just keep messing up more and more, and I can't stop thinking about how pathetic I am. Maybe if I just drop out, I won't keep getting in everyone else's way. With a shot look on her face, the waitress brings me my tenth dessert. The moment she sets it on the table, I scarf it down. Sweets are the best way to relieve stress. But n not enough. No matter how many I eat, it's just not enough. The amount of stress I've built up must be incredible. Oh. As I start to order, order my 11th parfait, the table is suddenly riddled with shuriken. <laughs> Look up the ceiling and see a lesser shinobi clinging there. Her clothes have a Hibijo logo. A camouflage barrier appears. I know that means it's time for a battle. The lesser shinobi throws another volley of shuriken. I knock the table down and use it as a shield. I immediately move to throw the shuriken back. Huh? The shinobi on the ceiling has disappeared. By the time I realize that it's too late, the lesser shinobi comes from behind and blind binds me. I fell for the oldest trick in the book. It's so pathetic I feel like crying. But I can't. I can't give up. I have to do this on my own. How did I how did I get out of this? I frantically wreck wreck my brain for ideas. Suddenly the shinobi behind me goes limp. As Yaku's voice reaches my ears, the shinobi slumps to the ground. She's taken down the lesser shinobi with a single blow. She then pokes the lesser shinobi with an umbrella. But there's no sign of movement, and the lesser shinobi seems to be unconscious. I don't thank her at all, I just leave. I keep walking, wanting to be alone. I stop and glance over my shoulder. She looks at me with eyes wide. <sighs> Yagi looks genuinely troubled. But once I started, I can't close my mouth. I start just my swift walk again, leaving her behind. I went too far, she had come to help me. The guilt is already building up inside me. I should go back and apologize. As soon as I decide that, I turn back around, but Yagu is nowhere to be seen. As I stand alone, something falls from my clothes. It's a plant in the shape of a coiled spring. It must have got, got caught in my clothes when that shinobi grabbed me from behind. Master Kiria told us about it. It's a type of fern called Malaswede. The only place it grows in this region is the sea of trees, the area is known as a suicide spot, so no one goes near it. Oh boy. Oh, maybe? No, definitely. 
To be Joe uh, Kim, he must be in, in that forest. The sea of trees is a bigger forest than I imagined. Light barely steps through the jagged bridge branches overhead. Cold air drifts by my feet, chilling me in spite of the summer sun. Every turn I take here looks exactly the same if a civilian wandered into this place they'd never find their way out. Every so many steps I tie a piece of rope to, to a tree. That's how shinobi navigate in the wild. I also scatter colored grains of rice on the ground. We use this five colored rice to leave messages for our shinobi allies. I think I've been wondering about for for about an hour now, by now. I happen to cross a patch of mouse weed, but there's no sign of a Bijou Academy anywhere. Did I overthink this? Did I mi misunderstand? Just as disappointment sets in, I feel like a, ch a change in the air. The mouse weed has started spewing toxic smoke. They told us that plant was poisonous, but no one ever said that it could actually spray that poison. Uh, As a beach of created a modified strain, I fall to my knees. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I can do. The tongue of smoke builds up around me. I find myself thinking of Yagyu. You don't let this discourage you. You can do it if you, tri if you try. I can almost hear Yagyu's voice. Listen to me, Ibari. It doesn't hurt to learn the water escape technique. Hmm? Water escape technique? That's right. I learned it just recently. I was having a hard time with the bamboo pipe and took it out Yagi on Yagyu. The water escape technique is an art arcade. I thought I thought why a bamboo pipe in this day and age? Age? Wouldn't, wouldn't a snorkel work better? Can't somebody get with the times? I got so frustrated I threw my pipe. And yet you spoke to me softly. Thank you, shook her head at me. She picked up the pipe and I threw it down. I took the pipe she held out to me. I quickly closed my mouth around the pipe. Yagyu's teaching Nick teaching Zeko in my head. The mouth sweet poison is heavier than air. I point the pipe upward and breathe breathe my lungs taking clean air, I'm going to be okay. Thank you, Yagyu. Even without being at my side, you still helped me. I regret what I said all over again. I was really mean to her. I move beyond the mouse sweet field and come up upon a brutal wa wasteland. I hide in a nearby tree. Ahead I see a large group of Ibijo students training brutally hard. There's a girl cat fought earlier. I'm pretty sure her name's Hikage. There's another shinobi at her side too with an unsettling aura. I'm, oh wait. I don't know what to do! そうかな。私、金持ちご用達の野菜が値上がりする分には何の不平もございませんよ。the two continue to chat while watching the other shinobi students. No doubt about about it. I found it. I really found it. This is a Bijou Academy. Now we don't have to just wait for them to attack. We can go off the offensive. I, I'll bet everyone will be glad to hear about this. 
I won't be burning to them anymore. I've done something to help them. I gingerly take a step back. All I need to do is get out of here without being detected. I see another Ibijo student shouldn't be standing there. I tried to escape, but I'm surrounded by lesser Ibiji Ibijo student shinobi. They come from my escape in a flash. I left a trail of five colored rice on, the way, on my way here. Even if something happens to me, the others will come. So I don't have to make it back alive. But I can't afford to die here either. I said mean things to Yagyu. I have to see her again and say sorry. I can't do that unless I live through this somehow. I drop into a defensive stance. The Beecho student fla Shinobi flashes a fearless grin. Okay. Oh. I, I didn't mean to do that. But I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm kind of in a hurry is why I'm doing that because... Well, I have to do this because I gotta go. I'm not sure. But I, I think I could remember where we left off at, at least. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. If you want to be notified whenever I upload, be sure to read both so you get them. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye!